So now we about to transition to another story real quick. See this woman on your screen right here? Now, fellas. Now, this is for the fellas real quick. I need you. I need you to imagine this real quick. Imagine that you're a, you're a husband. You got a beautiful wife. Got four kids. Good home. Everything appears to be great. You appear to believe you appear to be living the life. Have everything you ever wanted. Madness. Just to find out that your wife like this lady here is fucking one of the boys in high school. Madness. Now, I believe that child predators that are women don't get nearly the backlash that the man child predators have. I feel that it's all equally disgusting. I feel like it's all madness. We got It says the beautiful principal. Now, this lady that you see right here, ladies and gentlemen, is a principal. She is married and she got like four kids. Madness. The beautiful principal of the school inside New Orleans Juvenile in adult jails has been charged with having a sexual relationship with an inmate. Authorities say that they have evidence which includes 700 phone calls many of which were of an extreme sexual nature. Damn, 700 phone calls? All of them were sexual. They said extreme sexual nature. In 2017, Christy Sampson Kelly was hired as the principal at Travis Hill School in New Orleans for incarcerated youth. Wow. So she was a principal for a school that dealt with the incarcerated youth. She was perfect for the job and had a sparkling resume that featured a PhD in national acclaim in the field of special education. Madness. Now Sampson Kelly, 49, is known for her arrest in November following a warrant accusing her of engaging in more than 700 extremely sexual and explicit phone calls with a 17 year old inmate according to the report by an investigator with the Orleans Parish Sheriff's Office transcripts of some of the conversations leaked online and are being described as sexual intimate and romantic <sighs> that, 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 that's, that's sad that's sad that's sad you out here at school busting it open while your husband at home with y'all four kids and you out here having sex with these underage bo madness. In one conversation, the underage teen describes an act of oral sex that he would like the married mother of four to perform on him. In the conversation, she agrees to do so, according to the transcripts. In another conversation, the boy says, I want to hear your sexy voice. She replies by stating she wants his dick. Madness. In between talk about sex, the transcript shows less graphic conversation. They show that in one instance, the juvenile says, tell me you want to marry me. To rinse the principal replies, I want to marry you. Okay, hold on. Stop the show right there. This... 17 year old told this woman that I want you to tell me that you want to marry me. And she, and she said it. She's already married. <laughs> this is, this is the madness. He probably at home with all four of his kids, probably watching Nickelodeon or something, watching Coca Melon. I don't know what they doing. And she out here telling a 17 year old boy that I want to marry you because he said so. This is disgusting. Disgusting. And they need to go hard on her just like they go hard on the males. 
They need to go just as hard as her because to me, it's all the same perversion. Boy, it's lots of boys out here getting molested as well. Don't nobody really care about the boys too much, though. They really don't. As much as these little boys is out here getting molested and taken advantage of and everything like that, it's like when it happens to them, it's like, oh, well, you know, it is what it is. When it's a female, it's like all hells break loose, as well they should. But I do believe that all hell should break loose no matter what the situation is. Now, this this dude was 17 years old, so he's a grown, he's a grown ass teenager about to turn 18. All I know is if this was a 17-year-old um girl, and whether if she wanted it or not, all hell would break loose. So let's see if she got any charges for this. Madness. And another transcript shows the inmate asking, how much you miss me? Samson Kelly responds, I miss you a lot. Samson Kelly, a married mother of four, is older than the teen boy mama. Wow. So, so this woman, I mean, so this kid or this teenager who she been messing with, she's older than his mama. I wonder how his mama, I wonder what his mama has to say about that. Because everybody's mother and father ain't for that, oh, well, that's my son type BS. I know some mamas that are, I know some mamas that are go whoop her ass because she's 49 years old messing with a 17 year old. Every mother, every father don't go for that just because it's their son. They damn sure don't go for just, um, they damn sure don't go for that ish when it's their daughter. But when it's a son, you know, it's like the perspective changes. You 49 years old. What they, what, what, what do they say that they do? Oh, you're, you're coercing this young teenager. You know, you know, he don't know what he's doing, right? That's, that's what they say. I'm going to need them to keep that same energy. Cause I agree. You shouldn't be 50 years old. Damn near 50 out here smashing a 17 year old male or female. You 50 and somebody 17. What that is completely taking advantage of somebody madness. Now, I don't say, it don't say if she, you know, if she got any type of sentence or anything like that, it just says, it just says that she got arrested. We're going to have to get an update. We're definitely going to have to get an update on this story because I want to know exactly what happened. Now, we know 17-year-olds in school. You know, he's um, like, you know, 17 year old, you're normally either a senior or a junior at the age of 17. And, you know, we got dudes that's like, yo, I'm going to hit the teacher. Yeah, I'm going to hit the teacher. Yeah, teacher coming over here looking good. I'm going to hit the teacher, you know. Teenagers have those conversations. But as a grown ass woman, as a teacher, as a person in position of power, you ain't supposed to actually let them do it. Madness. Can't control your damn self and you damn near 50 with a whole family at home washing coca melon and cooking cookies and you up here at the inmate school busting it open. Shame on you. Disgusting. Now, this next story. <laughs> 